The journey of the film started in a small medieval village in Italy called Pari. And um, I was up there one day in this little coffee bar and this gentleman walked in and uh, he was very curious uh, about me because I was the only other one in the cafe bar uh, speaking English. And um, so he came over and uh, introduced himself and he was curious also about my accent because he recognized the accent as being an Irish accent. And of course, when I met him, I said, well, you're from Liverpool. Um, he was a good bit older than me and uh, I said, uh, you must have been a contemporary of John Lennon and Paul McCartney. And he said, absolutely. He said, my father was a electrical contractor working in Liverpool and he had a trainee apprentice electrician who was called George Harrison. And uh, he told me this story that uh, George Harrison came in one day and said to his father, um, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm going off to join this band. And David Pete's father said, well, if you're leaving after all the work and training that I've put into you, don't come crawling back here looking for your job back. So then he put out his hand and he introduced himself as David Pete. Now, I didn't know who David Pete was at that point. But over subsequent days and weeks, I was wandering in and around Pari and I saw all these people sitting around the cafe bar and they had Australian accents, American accents, uh, Europeans, um, some Irish people, some English people. And I said, how are all these people coming to, to this little town in Italy? And then I asked a few questions and it led back to David Pease, the guy who I, who I had met in the uh, cafe bar. And uh, they told me that David had set up a school, an alternative university called the Pari School of New Learning. And it was all based on subjects like the arts, science, sciences and the sacred. So as time went on, then I did a little bit more investigation and David introduced me to David Bohm, who was the source upon which these courses were developed. So when David then discovered that I was a filmmaker, he uh, said, would you be interested in doing uh, uh, something on David Bohm? And eventually we got to sit down and develop a treatment based on the story of David Bohm. And what was beautiful about it was that the philosophical aspects that I really enjoyed about David Bohm, his notions of an underlying reality, uh, that, you know, this whole idea of emergence, the ideas of the implicate and explicate orders, began to answer a lot of questions for me. I mean, we, we all wonder about, you know, who we are and uh, where have we come from and why are we here and what's our purpose. And the more I got into this story, I found that in science he gives us an understanding of the deeper levels of reality. Um, in philosophy he gives us this whole notion of the, uh, the deeper order, the implicate order, becoming explicate into this manifest world that we live in. And in dialogue he gives us a way of creating new perception, new consciousness, the ability to be able to watch our thought processes. It takes us beyond the world of form, beyond the world of duality, to a oneness that is present in you, in me, in nature, the universe and everything. Well then, it follows, and this is a great revelation to me, that we should take care of one another better. We should love one another better. We should take care of nature. We should take care of the environment. So the implications, the radical implications of Bohm's theory is so relevant for a contemporary audience today. Um, climate change, what are we doing to the environment? Pollution, nature, um, these are all very radical ideas that come from the Bohm theory that are so relevant and answer so many 
of the big questions that contemporary society has got to deal with today.